Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you a location where you can get a lot of stillhead trout. You can max out on those. You can max out on largemouth bass. You can max out on rock bass. They're good fish, even though they're smaller, they're a dollar a piece. Um, chain pickerel, I mean, just a bunch of different fish. But the main ones we're going to go for is largemouth bass, stillhead trout, and the rock bass. Uh, so basically, just want to cut to the chase real quick. I'm going to go ahead and pull up on the map and show you where you need to head to to find this location. So where we're going to head to is right here, southwest of Flatneck Station. It's actually just north of Blackwater. We're going to be heading right down here to this little cove right here, this little indention where the water comes in. Also, too, with this, you'll need a, either a turkey or a raccoon. And you can find turkeys and raccoons all around Flatneck Station. I just have a lot better luck with either a turkey or a raccoon just because it leaves more room for the fish to bank themselves when they come up and check on the dead carcass. So now that we arrived at location, we need to go ahead and figure out where we want to put the two different carcasses. I'm going to go ahead and grab the raccoon and set him up first. And like always, you always want to make sure you got him just to where he's just barely in the water. And, you know, when you place the raccoon, it's kind of like the turkey as well. He kind of just flings it. Um, so once you got it placed there, whatever, go ahead and pull out the fishing pole and kind of, I guess you basically make the fish spawn. Um, some are already there, but with this, it makes the bigger fish spawn. So you would kind of want to see where they're laid out. So you know where to put the second carcass at. And sometimes you end up having to move the carcasses around a little bit because the fish will kind of start shifting around on you a little bit. But yeah, before I could even get the second carcass out, I mean, you could already see some of the um, largemouth bass are already kind of coming after the raccoon, So, which that's a good thing. I mean, that's what we want. So with this area, though, there's actually two different ways you can do it. One, you could just do the regular carcass fishing, or two, you set up the carcasses, and then you go on the other side of, I guess you, I guess you would call it a peninsula, and shoot across back towards where I'm standing right now, and you actually scare the fish up onto the shoreline. So... I'm going to go ahead and just kind of just see where the fish are at and where I need to come around on the other side um, because that's my preferred way. It's a lot faster for me. Um, but yeah, I mean, right away before I even start trying to do the gun method, I mean, I've already picking up a lot of the, <laughs> the bass right there. So um, yeah, I mean, it's a good location. Again, you know, I haven't really used raccoons a lot, but the fish seem to like raccoons and turkeys a lot, which turkeys I've used before, but raccoons I've really never even bothered with. I've done the muskrats and stuff like over by Lemoyne and stuff, but that's really about it. So basically you could come on the side right here. You can either choose to go on the shore on the other side, or you can actually step off the shore a little bit here. Um, so like this way, I'm just showing you different ways you could do it. This way, I'm getting some of the largemouth bass. Um, they're the, probably the easiest to spook. Um, actually, <laughs> that scares a couple of them actually up underneath the, uh, the turkey's uh, carcass or whatever. So I have to move that. I, ah, crap. I lost that guy just trying to move him around. But anyway, no big deal. We'll make up for it. So um, the other way you could come around here, uh, I usually pull out the fishing pole. So as, as I'm coming around, they start spawning. So I can kind of see where the bubbles are at. And with this method, I did a video on it a while back, you always shoot behind the fish so you end up scaring them forward. You know, don't go kind of machine gun on it and, you know, start shooting all crazy because you actually make the fish actually freeze. So you want to shoot behind them and the bubbles will actually disappear. And when they reappear, they'll be closer to the shore or closer to the area you're wanting them to head to. And as you can see right now, I think those are steelhead trout that's popping up over there already. So... Just take your time. Like I said, it pays off a lot more than fishing. It pays off a lot more kind of sitting around waiting for the fish to come on shore too, which I mean, it's still not a bad method, but I mean, why not do it if it's faster this way? So I think, yeah, that's, yeah, those are still head trout. I think there's one uh, largemouth bass over there. It's hard to see when they're farther over there. Sometimes they're, um, the rock bass look a little bit bigger too, but we're already getting a good amount of them over there. And like I said, just take your time, shoot behind the bubbles. And, you know, don't try to rush it because, I mean, after you shoot, the fish are still going to act scared. They're still moving towards there, even though you don't see them because they're below the water. Let me see. Uh, let just shoot a couple more times. Yeah, so right now, is like you can see, I got a bunch of steelhead trout here. About three or four of those. You see right now, the steelhead trout are still coming on shore. You know, they're still in that, I guess, spook state. Uh, so like I said, um, I mean, they'll just keep coming up underneath your feet as you're picking them up too, as long as you don't go running crazy through the water and scare them away. Um, like I said, the steelhead trout's $2.50, largemouth is $2.50, and like I said, you come back over here and just do it again. Um, each time before you do it, always pull out the fishing pole just to kind of make them spawn again. 
Um, and let me see. I think these are rock bass. It's weird. Sometimes you'll get just steelhead trout. Sometimes you'll get just largemouth. And like here, you can see I just got rock bass, which is still great. You got that many fish right there. They're a dollar a piece. So, I mean, that adds up a lot right there. You're not, you know, having to fight for between the 75 cent and stuff like that either. So, so let's go ahead and see what we got. So we sell all the pickerel for $4 there. And we sell all the largemouth bass for $20. Hmm. The poor large amount of bass go for 80 cents. So we sell all the bluegill for six dollars. Uh, turkey feather, well, not much money to worry about. Still had trout, twenty dollars. I didn't get all the ones I needed there. Uh, let me see the pickerel, seven dollars. Rock bass, ten dollars. Uh, then you just got the turkey carcass and the raccoon. So for a total around seventy-one dollars. So I mean, it was really good. Uh, like I said, I could have got more of the other ones, but I just didn't choose to stay there longer. So that's pretty simple guys. I hope it helped you out. If it did, I'd appreciate it if you would like and share the video with your friends. Also to subscribe, click notification bell. So whenever I have videos come out, you get notified right away. And again, guys, like always, I'll catch you next time in the next video.